Mal, and today I'm going to be showing you my Barnes & Noble American Girl book haul! Woo! So I had a Barnes & Noble gift card that I got for like my birthday. It was actually for like my 16th birthday that I have never used. And then I also found some other Barnes & Noble's gift card in this drawer that we have and in the kitchen and I was like, yo, let's do a Barnes & Noble order. Um, because American Girl has released some awesome, amazing books this past year. Past year, I mean like 2021. And yeah, I was like, let's do it. It'd be a great video too. And plus, I really wanted some of these books. So I feel like without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's see. Which is the first book that I want to talk about? Um, so the first book that we're going to talk about is this cute little book called Happy Holidays, American Girl, and it's a little golden book. I used to read these when I was little. Oh my goodness. On the cover, you have Nenea, Julie, and Rebecca. So I kind of looked through this book. I hadn't read it. I just kind of looked through it, and the illustrations are so cute. It basically talks about what each historical character, what different... I don't think it has all the historical characters in it, but it has several different ones uh, due for the holidays, Christmas, and stuff. And yeah, it's kind of like a really good learning opportunity to see how different people spend their holidays, even if you're not into American Girl dolls or dolls, which I don't know why you would be watching me if you're not into dolls, but whatever. Um, I feel like this is a really good educational book to read your kiddos or whoever that you want to teach about the holidays because it talks about Hanukkah with Rebecca um oh what's the holiday that Kristen celebrates saying I can't pronounce it okay like I'm really dumb right now I can't pronounce it Luca day talks about that holiday and yeah it talks about different others as well and they're so cute like little illustrations in this is just adorable I'm just I just love it I really do. So definitely recommend this one. And actually I got this on sale. It was $2.99. I think it was like regular like $5.99. Hold on. Does it have the price in the back of the book? Okay, so it's regular $5.99 in the US, but I got it for $2.99 on sale. I think it was on sale because it was like after Christmas. So the next book that I got is a, another A Little Golden book, and it is Happy Birthday, American Girl. I really wanted this one because 2021 was American Girl's 35th birthday. So this book basically just talks about different historical characters. It doesn't list all the historical characters, but it lists several different ones and how they spend their birthday. And I think this is kind of an educational book too because you can teach, you know, people how different people celebrate their birthday. So I think that's really fun and plus it's really fun to see the little illustrations and stuff. This reminds me of the American Girl, um little it was when they did six books and they had one book dedicated to the character's birthday and yeah I just think it's the illustrations are just so cute I think it's so cute and yeah I really enjoy this one I mean look at Addie how cute is Miss Addie ah! love it the last little golden book that I picked up was American Girl making a difference on the cover you have Melody and Kit and Melody's holding a poster, standing up for her rights. Kit's right in a newspaper, as she does. I feel like this one is such an inspirational book that I feel like kids or really anyone needs to read because it teaches you how to be just different traits and how to make a difference, you know? Like, it talks about Samantha, talks about Kit, some kind things that they do, and then they talk about Nenea. And yeah, it talks about just different, just different things that I feel like kids just needs to learn, you know? Like, they need to learn, in my opinion, they need to learn how to be kind, because kindness makes the world go round. They need to learn how to make a difference. And what's equality? What's right from wrong? They need to be educated to learn how to run the world. Some key acts that it talks about is how Julie stood up for equality, Melody for... The, um, the Civil Rights Movement, Nenea um, helped wounded soldiers, Kit wrote a newspaper to explain that hard times can happen to everyone, and yeah, just different like kind things like that that I feel like everyone needs to just, you know, learn and just appreciate. 
Okay, so next book is a step into reading American Girl Freedom for Addie. I saw that this one was limited quantities on the American Girl website, so I got it from Barnes and Noble because I didn't want to miss out. It basically it's like the story of Addie, like from what you would read in American Girls books, but broken down for like little kids, if that makes sense. And the reason I got this is because I'm a book person. I love the American Girl books, and oh my gosh, it comes with a poster. Hold on. Ah! Look how cute this poster is! So I really love that they did that because, you know, some of the American Girl books, they can be hard for little kids who really want to read them. So I'm really glad that they made these uh, they made some versions for little kids so they can actually get into the stories as well. Okay, so the next one is a, another step into reading. It's American Girl, Samantha Helps a Friend. This one talks about Samantha, and it's kind of just like Addie. It kind of gives a story of Samantha, but I think it mostly focuses on Nellie. And it comes with stickers! Look how cute these are! Ah, love these stickers. Very cute. Love this little book. So the next one we're going to talk about is the American Girl Coloring Journal. I picked this one up because I love coloring. It it really like relaxes me and it helps me with my anxiety because I'm kind of I kind of been vocal about anxiety a little bit. I haven't been vocal as what I used to be about anxiety, but I'm someone who struggles with anxiety. My anxiety has been very calm lately, so I'm very proud about that. I learned coping mechanisms. Your girl went to therapy and we're doing better. Anyways, I love coloring in general, and I picked up the American Girl coloring book that they released, oh, when was it, 2020? And I was like, I have to have this one because it's American Girl, and I love to color. And it not only does it feature, like, coloring, like, from different historical characters, like you have Kaya, Julie, Addie, Nenea, and then I th Melody. You have so many different ones in here, oh my goodness. Felicity. But it also kind of um, gives you, like, cute little activities that you can do as well like a meditation bracelet you can make, and let's see, uh, host a tea party, uh, who would you invite to your tea party, what questions would you ask them, I would love to have a tea party, personally, then you have some calming techniques, like, it's really, like, educational, too, and I like that, so, yeah, if you guys would like a video of me coloring some of the coloring pages, because I thought that would be cute, like, a little cute little time lapse of some coloring, let a girl know, because I'd love to do that. Okay, so the last book I picked up, maybe be one of my favorites, okay, is the new edition American Girl Character Encyclopedia. So they came out with this kind of in 2016, but then they updated last year, and I was so excited that they updated it, because my 2016, or maybe it was 2017, I think it was 2017 actually, or maybe it was 18, I can't remember, but... It was like a while ago, and I'm so excited that they added all the new characters to it. So basically, this is what I used for my American Girl History site because it like has so many like good information in it. So let me turn to you a character page. So this is Courtney's page. It tells you about Courtney, some fun facts about Courtney, kind of just Courtney and like a cute little page fill. And then, so it talks about all the historical characters. It talks about all the Girl of the Year characters up until... Oh, and then it talks about the contemporary characters, such as Tenny. Logan has his own page. And, girl, I'm pumped that Logan has his own page. Like, thank you, American Girl. Like, he needed his own page. And we have Z. And then, I, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Can you tell? Oh, my gosh. Um, it talks about all the um, girl of the years up until Kira and stuff. So I'm very glad that they added all the new characters. And then it talks about some of their pets. Some of the American Girl Pats. And then it talks about um, some of their big accessories in their collection. And then it also talks about some vehicles that they have in their collection, too. Hold on, I'm turning to that page. Give me a minute. Like, it's such an epic book. See, Girls on the Go it talks about the different vehicles, such as Sage's Hot Air Balloon, Lainey's Camper. I was kind of sad that they didn't include Joss's van, because that was such an iconic accessory, and they should have included it, but... It's totally okay. And then in the back you have an index and some different little accessories that it talks about too that they pulled from different collections. So yeah, um, I would say I was a little disappointed that it was not hardcover because my 
old one that I have, I mean I still have it, I'm not getting rid of it, was hardcover and this is like paperback so I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't make it as hardcover like the other one but at the same time I kind of like it that it's paperback so I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it but I really like it and I think it's super duper cute and I love how they updated it, like it needed to be updated, like thank you American girl! This is just a request American girl if you're watching, which I know you're probably not but if you are I would love it if you updated your ultimate guide. Oh my goodness, I love that book so much too, like, love it. I really love this book. I really recommend this book for anyone who wants to learn more about the American Girl dolls. Like, they have the American Girl dolls that have been retired, like Girl of the Years 2001, Lindsay. They have historical characters that's been, that's been retired, like Marie Grace and Cecile, and then Caroline's in here too. So, if you want to learn more about American Girl dolls, their characters, retired ones, new ones, well, not new ones, but like ones that have just came out, I definitely recommend you checking this out because it is such a great book and it's so knowledgeable for any one of the American Girl collectors or for anyone who just wants to learn more about their favorite doll love this book. Alrighty guys, so that was my American Girl Barnes & Noble haul. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for all these books, all these new books. Like I can't, ugh, I'm so excited. So yeah, American Girl's just been coming out with some really good books lately. They've been hitting out, out of the park and I just can't wait to just I don't know, just dive into it, I guess. I don't know what to say. I'm just so excited. I can't believe I have these books now. Like, oh my gosh, someone pinched me. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram if you haven't done so already. It's the same name, Dollies and Rainbows. I post new videos every single Sunday, and it's so awesome. Be sure to check me out on TikTok as well. It's the same name, Dollies and Rainbows. All fun all over the platforms. <laughs> Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you're able to. What is your favorite American Girl book that you've read recently? If that's really hard, because I know I don't I don't have favorites either, then what is a American Girl book that you've read recently? What American Girl book do you want? Let a girl know. I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. I'll see you next time. Bye!